Again. Uh, I have a practice game tonight, actually, but that doesn't mean anything. It's just a practice game. Um, and then my next game's on Wednesday. It's out at Slice, so that's pretty far. Where is Slice? You know where the uh, Coca-Cola plant is? Out in uh, St. Charles? Yeah. You know where Newtown is? It's right out there. It's, um... Yeah. It's right across the street from that Coca Cola plant. I know you have Chris and David. So crying over Chris Jenkins' shot last night. Is that uh, the Villanova, the guy who made the winning three? Yep. yep. Did you see Marcus Page's tying shot, though? That was insane. That was, that was insane also. Yeah, that was insane. Where did you watch the game? Austin Tess. I went over to the hope to watch you. That was a really good game, though. You have a whole bunch of people over here. Oh. Austin? Nice ball, uh, Yeah, he had like Mark, Alex Morose, Walker, and Connor. If I don't go to the final, Dr. McKenna has a whole bunch of people in the club. Mm -hmm. It's the year before I was at the game. Duke, Wisconsin. I saw uh, Ingram entering the draft. He's a freshman, right? Yeah. Grayson Allen is staying. Go that way. He what? Grayson Allen is staying. in New York? Champions Classic. I don't even know what that is. Remember last, 
Last year was in, this past year was in Chicago. Kentucky played Duke. Michigan State played KU. Mm -hmm. Next season's in New York. KU's gonna play Duke. You gonna go? No. <laughs> Too far? No. I'm I'm not that crazy. <laughs> I got about 300 Raiders. Mm -hmm. So what's the best game you think you've ever been to in your life? <laughs> yeah, I had some good ones this year. What about the Bronson Cage shot to beat Xavier? In Wisconsin. This year? Yeah, oh, is that the yeah the three pointer? Yeah. On the corner. How about the Iowa State shot, half court. Yeah. That was crazy too. And then the then the northern then the northern Iowa kid hitting the shot to win the Missouri Valley tournament. Mm -hmm. Off the off the back rim. Dang. Maybe seven to beat Syracuse to win the national championship in New Orleans. I can't believe Syracuse made it as far as they did this year. Well, they got some breaks. Mm -hmm. They did. They were the they were the beneficiary of Middle Tennessee beating Michigan State. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. You gotta put that into perspective too. Easy, easy. But you, but you know, Syracuse, but you know, Virginia blew that. Game. Luckily not. I, so I'm probably going to end up having something to do. Especially since it's on a weekend, too. Yeah. We're considering that we're going to watch a Warriors game against an undefeated team. Baltimore. Baltimore's undefeated? As of now, just what? one at Boston. Tonight. What are they, 5 0? Yeah. Dang. Cardinals are a slow start, but they won their last. Uh, they, well, well, they got swept in Pittsburgh. And yep. Just finding out. Hey, Claire! Mm -hmm. Going backwards! And the Milwaukee Bulls. Yep. We got such a young team. I don't even recognize anyone anymore. We got such a young team. What was he going to say? Mm -hmm. 
had tickets for all the kids with the ducks. Memphis is going for five times. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's just kind of tiring, but money's nice. Injury time? Wow. The, the, the official was about ready to blow the whistle and see how it scored the goal. This is the team that's got Will Brewer. Smith Brewer. Really? He went to the Smith? Yeah. What's his name? Will Brewer. Will Brewer. No, I've never heard of him. college? I don't remember where he went to college. He, he, I do know that he went to Spencer High School. Keep going, Jill! Keep going, Jill! Keep going, Jill! We've always been friends. We don't marry you, but we gotta live with your parents. Oh, I'm staying on campus. Do they have dorms there? Yeah, they do. Blair, you have to make They're actually building a new one. I think it's gonna be ready by my freshman year or sophomore year. They're building a new dorm dorm hall. And they're also getting a new softball stadium and soccer stadium, so with locker rooms and everything. So that should be ready in the next couple of years. I don't think they need a baseball stadium. Get Is that too early? Uh, 
Um, I'm not totally sure, but someone definitely on the soccer team. Or the new recruits, I think. I think it might be a kid from Chicago, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think he, I think he decided on Butler. Not 100% sure, but I think it's what he said this morning. Where's that, Indiana? Indianapolis. Is Villanova in Indianapolis? Well, Villanova's in the same conference. Oh, I see. They would have to play them at the pavilion where they had all the people screaming their heads off after Chris Jacobs made a shot. Plays at Wells Fargo every year. Tatum again close to St. Louis. So when do you think Tatum's going to enter the draft? Because we know he's going. Next year? Next year? I mean, obviously, he's got to play one year at Duke. Mm -hmm. After that, you think he's going? Unless, of course, he does say what Harry Giles did last this past year in Terran ACL. Yeah. Jaws is going to do, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I know Deuce got played Louisville for the third straight year, which is rather unusual. So, do all the teams that make the NCAA tournament, are they all D1 teams? Every every team that we saw in the region was the Division One team. Okay. Yeah, they do have a tournament for Division Two. Okay. But it's only Division Two teams. I got you. And there's a tournament for Division Three teams too. That's where we'll watch you. Mm -hmm. But. I just didn't know, because I know like that's how soccer is too, but yeah. I didn't know if it was different yeah, for basketball. The same thing as football and basketball. Yeah. I wonder what division 
two or division three teams and play division one teams in some exhibitions. Yeah. Like if you do play division, division two team, they don't even count that on, on your record. You know, it's a selection for Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Butler would be eligible to play there since they don't play their home games at Packers Life Field House. But they have to be in the top four, obviously. Mm -hmm. and that's the top four in America. So since Tatum's, what, he's, he's still number one in the country, right? Number two. Number two. So in the draft, he's got to be, what, the first, first, second overall pick? Yeah, depending on who picks. Yeah. Depends on who wins the lottery. Certain teams have certain needs. That's true. Barber ball to go back on scoreboard. Hmm? It's gotta be delivered you remember the home run that Schwarber hit against the Cardinals in the playoffs? Mm, no. In the being the clinch the series? I do not. Schwarber just got hurt, didn't he? He's out for the season. Yeah. You know. He did play that ball right on top of the scoreboard. The ball that he hit? Yeah. Was that our place or their place, right? No, oh, Wrigley Field. Okay, yeah. Was it some special home run? Oh, so, okay. So you're saying that home run won that the game? That home run basically not only won the game, but won the series. Okay, I got it. Thank 
hazel paper guys four for four. Our guy? See, I don't even. I don't, two I, two doubles and a triple. Keep it down here, Dang. Please. All the seniors are going to the game on Thursday. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be fun. It's supposed to be like 70 degrees and sunny. Yeah. One, two, four, five, six. The Cardinals have hit eight doubles and two triples. <laughs> The Cardinals have been eight doubles. That's a lot of extra base hits. That is. What's their record so far? I think they won a game. Okay. Cubs 5 and 1 have been on the road, and the Reds 5 and 1 have been at home. Atlanta hasn't won a game yet. Minnesota hasn't won a game yet. They're all at 6. I used to, I used to like them both equally when I was in like sixth or seventh grade. Yeah. And by like the eighth grade, I kind of got tired of it. It was kind of boring, and my team wasn't very good. I used to watch it a lot, but now it's more boring to me now. But I can't, I don't even recognize any of the players we have now. But playoffs is definitely, I like watching playoffs. Yeah, playoffs, the intensity. Picks. Yep. It's just too many games in the season for me. Well, no doubt about it. Yeah. The NBA is the same way. Mm -hmm. So is hockey. Channel 
five game on Sunday. Of a dancer, Bob. Who's the starting pitcher for Milwaukee? Home 
believe me, it's not the ESPN. Your runs have to be a little bit wider here. How many hits to Milwaukee have? Did he really? Yeah. It's the slowest guy on the field. Take you guys to the game? Um, I'm not really sure, but because uh, I'm going with Connor. Connor got stuck with tickets because we're going to sit in the outfield, so we're going by ourselves. But I'm not really sure about the school thing. Uh, I think Connor did for cheap, so Connor got us all tickets. Gonna go home after the game or after this game? Yeah. I have my I have a practice game at 8:30, so I have to go home and get dressed and go to that. We're playing uh, Arthur's team tonight in a practice game. Arthur and Reese and Will. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. Yeah, it is.
about him. But you have to understand where he's hitting these home runs at Coors Field and Chase Field in Phoenix. So, like, short distances? Well, the ball flies out of those places. Like, like it's going through a, like a 20, 30 mile an hour wind. Dang. That helps the ball. Still impressive, though. Yes, it is. Not like for stadium or home runs that are premium. Average price for a Lake Lake game against the Jazz, which was Kobe's last game. When? Wednesday night. His last game ever? Yeah. Nine hundred and seventy-one dollars. For his for a ticket? For a ticket. Yes. By and by yet showing it the cheapest? Cheap. Well, the average price. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the average price for the Grizzlies and the Warriors is four hundred thirty-six dollars. Is it just that expensive because it's his last game? Yeah. Oh yeah. IQ shows that the list price for the Warriors final game jumped 134%. Wow. That's the Sunday's 
played against the Spurs. For their, for their company, their average list price to a ticket for that game was $1,594. Oh my god. Cheapest ticket on StubHub was $700. For the Lakers, the Warriors was $380. Most expensive ticket sold on StubHub was, was a courtside seat in Los Angeles where fans paid $27,500 for two tickets to see Kobe Bryant up close for the last time. Oh my god. 30 grand? Well, $27,500. I mean, those are Jack Nicholson's. Rounding up. Yeah. Well, those are Jack Nicholson's seats. So it was. Mike Lee's seats. So, like, courtside? Yeah. Okay. That would be awesome, though. And obviously, the, the team that they're playing against, the Utah Jazz, are playing for something. Yeah. And do you know who the coach is for the Utah Jazz? No, I do not. Quinn Snyder. Who's Quinn Snyder? He used to coach at Missouri. Do you really? Yes. For how long? Like three, like four or five years. Wow. He coached the, the last time Oklahoma went to the Final Four before this year. They beat a Quinn Snyder coach Missouri team to get there. I didn't even know Missouri has made it to a Final Four before. They never have. Oh, uh, I thought that's what you said. Well, what I'm saying is, is that Oklahoma beat Missouri for the right to play in the Final Four. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, in my lifetime, they've had three shots. Lost to Oklahoma. They lost to Michigan the year Indiana had their perfect season. And they lost, then they lost to Arizona and Los Angeles. If you want tickets to those games, you better have a bank account. <laughs> Battle in! Way to get to the third gear! You got that right. Citra, nice cross! Are you filming? I am. I got it under control. Does this say, does this say recording? It does. It's got the little red, oh. the red button mark. Cardinals, the, the, the fifth center, fifth grade center's field doesn't drain as well as Bush State. Yeah. Our baseball team isn't very good, though, are we? No. I didn't think so. They're three and six. Polanski, mm -hmm. no Jack Fox. I wonder how is is baseball in the spring for college? Yeah. Okay. So he should be starting his season then, or probably already started. Well, Mike is. Yeah. Jack Fox is one of the best kickers in the country, right? Yeah. And they and they've got spring practice college. Football. Yeah. In fact, the Zoo Spring football game is this Saturday, but obviously we got 
prop. So you can't go there. Who are they playing? Well, it says the scrimmage. Oh, okay. But are they playing somebody? Are they... No, they're... It's offense against defense. Okay, I got it. It's... it's the first spring game for Barry Oda, the new coach. They don't play any other teams. But their schedule is not easy. Let's see, they open, they open up with West Virginia. Who does? Missouri. Missouri. Is West Virginia a good, good football team? East. When I went on uh, spring break in the airport, uh, a kid from Lafayette, he was huge. Um, and they were on the same plane as us going to Mexico. And he was a West Virginia football commit. And this, this, this kid was huge. Well, if he's alive, then he better be huge. He was probably... He was probably 6'4", 6'3", 6'4", I thought he guessed like 230 or 240. He's probably a linebacker. Yeah. That. Probably even more than that, 250 maybe? 250. I mean, he wasn't like a fat kid, but he, he was oh, stocky he's and big. Strong. Yeah. He's got to go to LSU this year, too. Hmm. What does that mean? That means they will get to play in a road game wearing their home uniforms. Is it color? Is it two color mismatch? Like two similar well, colors? No, because LSU wears white jerseys at home for conference games. No, I didn't know that. They do wear purple, but they wear purple against the the smaller teams, mm -hmm. like they're they're in state, they're in state brothers, like Louisiana Monroe. So is Nate Howard supposed to go, like, expected to go to the draft, or do you know? He's not going to the draft this year. Not this year, but. Oh, it, He's got a chance. There you go. There you go. You got that on film? I did. That'll make the goal scorer happy. Yeah. <laughs> he got it on film. <laughs> Parkway North had very good soccer teams. It really. They weren't very good this year. They were. They weren't. They were okay. They're not terrible. No, but we were just too strong. We had one legitimate Division One player. I think played like five, ten years. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Another goal. Boy, I tell you, when you when you score, the you come in punches. Nice 
Nice work, Lizard. Hey, Hadley, is that from you? Jillian. Jillian, all right. Now, Mr. Ehrenberg wants to be a nice guy and give these these girls the rest of the day off. Yeah. Try, try to be a nice guy to the other coach. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. You like your coach who you're playing for now? Yeah, he's really nice. I like him. What number is your sister? 17. Same number as me. She's a sophomore. Yep. She is ridiculous summer. Uh, she works at the same camp as I do, so I'm sure she'll do that because she doesn't have an actual job. Don't know if she'll ever get one either. I mean, in high school, I mean. <laughs> She's got to drive a car for this She drives a car. She got her license about two months ago. A little less than two months ago. When's her birthday? February 21st. I keep getting winters. Huh? Winters. The 25th of February, so we're four days apart. Wow. Well, two years, but four days apart in birthdays. Thank God I wasn't born on leap year. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, what would happen if you were born on the 29th of February? I don't know. It would not be fun, would though. You know, would your parents allow you to have a birthday on the... On the 29th? Yeah. I don't know. I guess, I mean, if you were born on that day, what would you do? I guess celebrate your birthday on March 1st every year, except for when you have... February 28th? Yeah. Is celebrate the birthday of the weekend closest to the first day. That was a snipe. My birthday is in July. July what? 17th. 17th? That will be 60. Big 6 0. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I've outlived a lot of people. Yeah. About your parents, when are their birthdays? Oh, actually, my mom's birthday is today. Oh so, my goodness! Yeah, I wish it were. she turned 50 today, and my dad turns 50 on Monday, so they're a week apart. Or, yeah, they're a week apart. We celebrated yesterday. We did. They went to lunch, but I couldn't go because I had to work. But I didn't end up working because it was raining all day. Yeah. What happens if something like that happens? 
What happens? If it, when it rains and then no. it stops like two hours later. Yep. I mean, it's pretty nice today it's when it rains if you don't want to work. Cause it's nice because then you'll just be on call and if it rains all day, they, don't, they won't call you back. Yeah. But if you want to make money, then that's a bummer. It is. Except I want it to be a little warmer for sure. A little warmer, yeah. But... I'm not sure if Davis playing tonight because he kind of hurt his knee last game. But if he doesn't, it's not a big deal. City. Yeah, this is <laughs> definitely not as bad though. For some reason, we used to, we usually have off games against U City. I mean, we did this year. I know we did last year for sure too. Well, you had the well, you had the playoff game where you scored ten and a half. Yeah. That's playoffs. So that's when you're fired up and ready to go. And we still don't know what district the dude will be in soccer just yet. Do they, didn't, didn't they move up a class though? They, mo they moved down a class in football. Oh, really? But I'm talking about soccer. Yeah, I'm soccer, they haven't made up their, they won't make up their minds for soccer to walk. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, basketball stays in class five and they've got Blue replacing Core North. Wow. So that makes it even more difficult. Yeah. I mean, Chaminade obviously is going to be down, but. Oh, but so SLU is now in our conference. SLU is in our district. Our district. In our district. Yeah, that's right. They gotta, so we got to contend with that McKissick kid. And they're not going to be very good next year, are they? In basketball? We're going to be okay. Yeah. About soccer. Well, if soccer does move up a class, it's going to be difficult for sure. But if they move, move up a class, they have no shot. They have no shot. <laughs> because you know, Shab not being the district, the problem with CBC. Yep. Soccer powerhouse schools, but we also don't know how good those schools are going to be. I mean, no, but, but those people recruit. Yeah. I mean, you know, who's to say that Ladue might get some get some kids from out of town that's going to live in Ladue in the Ladue district? Mm -hmm. So, I mean. But football. 
football. I mean, they get to contend with Afton, Clayton, <laughs> MICDS. Yep. DeBerg. Is that the new class they're in? Yeah. St. Mary's. Are they not very good or are they good? They are average decent. I mean, for their level, they're decent. They but we do can't be teams like that. Mm -hmm. I would be calling you up the second the game is over. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I mean, it'd be like we'd do, it'd be just the opposite of we'd do beating Charminade in basketball. Yeah. Or beating CBC in hockey. The CBC in hockey is just as much of a dynasty than any other sport. Yep, that's true. Do they win again this year? Okay, who they beat? True. That's right. I knew that. I was there. Full score. It wasn't bad. It was like five to two. Mm. It's not bad. No. But if we do would play CBC in hockey, it would be remember the one night we were all with Webster and we beat Webster like 15 to nothing in hockey. Yeah, I mean, it was like a couple of years ago. Oh, I don't remember that. I, mean, I don't know if you go to the hockey games. I do. I go. I, I go to. I've been to. I went to a couple this year. No, you don't I don't go to everyone though. I'm just a bad Usually they're kind of far away. Or they can be sometimes, but. He almost has to be at Brentwood for you guys to show up. Yeah. We have to start soccer practice in August. Yes, there we go. Yep, we will. And actually, there's going to be like some captain's practices, I think, in July, late July, middle July. Oh, yeah. So those will probably start up. I'm excited. I'm nervous, though. But that's expected. Yeah. I'm so going to follow. We do. Yeah. And I'll come back for the do for sure. So I'll be in town. I'll see the new turf field. Yeah. It'll probably look nice. At the do? Didn't they say they were building one uh, at the West Campus? On the lower field? It's all purpose for, I think, like lacrosse and soccer. We have to do that. Go Blue! they had. I wish they'd have a turf for baseball. Yeah. Could have, probably could have played. I mean, they got turf baseball fields over at Second and Fox. And MICBS for the infield. I don't know if I would like a turf baseball field, though. It seems like it would hurt to dive on or.
be on another drug test. Who? Josh Gordon, a wide receiver for Cleveland Browns. Isn't he really good? Yeah, but he's got issues with drugs. What kind of drugs? I don't know what kind of drugs, but he's, he's been got failing, issues. He's been failing drug tests. Yeah. So funny. How did David get hurt? I don't know. We, we had that game on Friday like I was talking about, and he said after that his knee was hurting and he couldn't bend it, so I'm not really sure what he did. But I mean, hopefully he's okay. I'm sure he just knocked something. He'll probably be fine. CBS. Are they good? I heard they weren't that good. I um, heard they were not as good as last year, obviously. But not as good as last year. It could still be good enough to put up a fight. Yeah. Blake is hosting. So that we have my aunt's and games at night. Which is always a benefit, even though it might get a little cold.
So how are you going to work at camp and then work at Waterway? Well, that's what I'm saying. I haven't decided yet. So if I work at camp, I'll probably work because there are shifts at Waterway you can get at like 3.30 to close. And I get off of camp at 3. So I might just work two days of the week at Waterway after camp and go in and that'll make me a lot of money. Or I might just work on the weekends with camp at Waterway. Or I might just go Waterway all the way, but I haven't decided yet. Hey, we can both get it. How late do they close? Uh, Monday through Friday they close at 8, and then Saturday and Sunday they close at 7. Yes. I bet you if we score, if I score. Four, uh, four, four, You have your penny counts. Oh. Yep, that's true. <laughs> Boy, these girls want blood. Yeah, they do. What is that? What does that mean? That means you have a bit that means of Chilly tonight. It's April and this is stop being cold. It's too cold or too hot. Yeah. I'd rather be hot though. It's been cold for too long. Yeah. How was the weather in Mexico? Uh, it was perfect, about 80 degrees every day. Yeah. Mid 80s. Perfect and sunny. It only rained once for about five minutes. And that was it. Yeah. But another thing about Mexico, you might get food poisoning. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get that. Yeah. You know anybody that had food poisoning? I don't think so. 
like Mike Wolanski had a couple of times. Like really? During, during Christmas. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't think anyone got it. Wait, do you? Is she trying to get another job? You said that we could tell us that. My first two You said that you'd tell us after the time. Are you a minister? Yeah, maybe time. Of course, I used to minister.